Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to go through how to convert a line shapefile or feature class into a polygon uh, shapefile or feature class. Uh, this is a pretty common operation that happens when you export a file from a CAD drawing. That's generally meant to be like an area, like a right away or a well site or land parcel. When uh, those areas are constructed in a CAD, in a CAD program, they're as lines, but we want them to be as areas that uh, have additional like properties to them, such as area and perimeter, and are able to be symbolized with different fill polygons and stuff like that in the GIS. So um, occasionally I'll get a shape file that's as lines when it should really be as polygons. Um, so we'll begin by opening up a shapefile that we received that we suspect to be a line shapefile. So we'll go in and extract that. So we'll do extract all and extract, and then it'll create a new folder with that, with that uh, zip file name. Uh, it's called project area, and we'll go in and we'll make sure that all of the essential shapefile components are there. So .dbf prj.shp and .shx are the essential ones. And then we can just drag and drop that into our ArcGIS Pro, which is the system that we will use to convert those lines into polygons. So here we can see these are essentially supposed to be areas to well sites that are closed off, but they're as lines and then a road right away that if we look at it, we'll see in here that it should be closed off to construct a complete like road right-of-way polygon. So the first thing we're going to do is close that off. So to do that, we will use our highlight that feature, go to the ribbon, go to the edit tab, and click modify. From the modify, we will select a tool called Continue Feature Tool, and then we will select one of the lines. And here we'll see that um, we want to connect up here, but the line is extending from this side. So what happens is the line will be extended in the direction that it was drawn. So we will want to reverse the line so we can connect this end. And we'll do that by right-clicking and select the reverse direction. And then you can see now we're at the other end of the line. So We'll connect it over to the opposing line, make sure it snaps to the end. Um, these lines have to be perfectly connected in order for the polygon to be filled in properly, so we'll make sure it snaps. Uh, we'll left click, and then we'll right click and say finish, and then it'll be all closed off. So the next step is to create a new shape file but a polygon shapefile that all this will be transferred into. We'll use that through the catalog pane, which is accessed through the view tab and the ribbon. Go to catalog pane. And then we can expand our folders um, menu. And then if we, which will expose our project, our main project folder, then we can right click on that and select new and shapefile. And then the Geoprocessing pane will open with a Create Feature Class a geoprocessing tool opened. And then we can create a new um, a name for the new uh, polygon shapefile. So we can do C, we'll do Project Area Poly. So we know it's a polygon feature class. And then we'll use the our original line file as the template. And then just watch up here, it's going to default to the geometry type of the, the polyline feature class that we're going to convert. So we'll just change that back to polygon. And then we will use the original shapefiles coordinate system. Since we know on the base map that it's showing as the, it's drawing in the right area. So we're comfortable with it being the right projection. And then we just hit run. And then we'll just create an empty new polygon shapefile. So the next step is to actually construct a polygon. So we're going to use the editing 
uh, tab in the ribbon again, and then we'll go to the modify tool again, and then we're going to use construct polygons. You might have to scroll down a bit and select the construct polygons tool. And we'll go back over to our contents pane and make sure our line feature classes are only selectable layer. So we'll do that by selection, make this the only selectable layer, and make sure we have our select tool enabled. And then we will select all the lines in our line shape file. So over here we should see the construct polygons tool open in the, the pane to the right. And then we'll make sure our the template that all of the constructed polygons are going to be transferred into is the new shape file we created. So it looks good. And then we'll just hit construct. And then we'll see our areas fill in with the symbology for a polygon. So it's all filled in. Looks good. And then if we're happy with that, we'll just hit save. And then yes. And then we have a shape file with polygons instead of lines. So we can just clear those out of our map. And then we'll add our polygon shape file back in by going to our project folder in the Windows Explorer. So this is our ArcGIS Pro project folder. This is the name of our new polygon shape file. And then we can just add it back in. Look at our ArcGIS Pro and there's our polygons. So that is how you construct polygons from a lines or a line shape file using ArcGIS Pro. Thanks for watching.